energy in the air um, at the start of the game, and that may have been a factor. Um, but but I saw two teams really competing, and uh, you know we have gotten so much better at the defensive end uh, over the last uh, week or ten days. And the Clippers, obviously, um, after last night's loss uh, to San Antonio, I thought they came out and played a, a great defensive game. So maybe a, a combination of all that. What do you think was the largest offensive issue for you guys tonight? Uh, just, um, you know, not not a ton of rhythm or flow. I mean, you know, we, we played a, a, a team that's going to be, you know, at full strength like they were tonight, one of the – best defensive teams in the league with a, t a ton of length. And so they, uh, they did a really good job. I thought they played an excellent defensive game. Um, you know, they hounded Steph and we couldn't find a rhythm. Um, but I was really proud of the guys. I mean, they, they hung in there the whole game. Um, our second unit led by Eric Pascal came in, did a fantastic job in the fourth to uh, help us take a lead. And, and uh, you know, we had a shot, but um Give the Clippers credit; they they played they played really well. He used Andrew Wiggins to guard uh, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, is that is he basically your your prime wing stopper at this point when you're going against guys like Kawhi? Yeah, Andrew Andrew and Kelly both. You know, there's um, in this league you you have to have size and length on the on the wings to do, to guard people like Paul George and and uh, Kawhi Leonard. So um, both. Um, both Kelly and, and Andrew have been really good defensively. Uh, I thought they were excellent again tonight. And so it's a, it's a really positive sign. I, I love this team. I love our, our guys. Um, they're, they're great, great guys. They, they, they're competing like crazy. Um, they're absorbing things. They're getting better every day. And uh, it's fun to see them every morning when I come into the gym. So uh, this is a really – Really good group, and we're going to improve quite a bit over the course of the season. Kate Rooney from Cron4. Um, you mentioned that you've seen these guys make some defensive improvements over the last couple of games. What adjustments have you seen them make? I think uh, Draymond's return is the biggest thing. Um, Kate, you know, we just – he's the best defensive player in the world. Um, he guards everybody. He keeps the, 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 the defense connected. And um, so the combination of his return, plus, uh, you know, everybody starting to understand what we're trying to accomplish defensively. Um, I think that's the reason for, for the change. CJ Peterson, San Francisco Examiner. Steve, you mentioned you like that lineup uh, with Wiggins, Bazemore, Lee, Pascal, and Watermaker, particularly in the fourth quarter that really kind of kept you guys around, especially when uh, LA kind of threw their starters back in. Um, what do you like particularly about that group and what makes them really so tough as far as defensively and making some shots too? Well, we've got, we've got shooters in that lineup and we've got Eric Pascal to play through, you know, we've sort of just discovered this lineup um, over the past week since Marquise's injury, you know, it, it shifted Eric to the five and um, he looks very well suited to that role. You know, he played 20 minutes, he got 14 shots up. So, he's an offensive force. And with that group, he's got shooters around him and we're going to get him the ball quite a bit. So I think it's been a, been a good fit. I think Kent Bazemore has been fantastic. Um, you know, Mike Mulder came in, knocked down a shot in the first half and gave that group a, a boost. But um, I just, I like what the bench is doing overall. What did you see out of Wiseman today? Uh, I think, uh, you know, playing against a great team, uh, like the Clippers, a team that has all that experience and length and that does all that switching. Um, it's, um, it's not an easy uh, team to play against for a young guy. So great learning experience for him tonight. Um, you know, every, every day is, is a help for him. Uh, just, um, you know, getting game experience, seeing all the, the pictures in front of him and being able to watch the film the next day and uh, make, make adjustments from there. Draymond's obviously done a ton for you guys since he's returned, but he's not really shooting much. Uh, he did it a little bit more in the second half, but do you need more of, from him as a scorer, particularly if they defend you like they did tonight? I've never, I've never worried about Draymond as a scorer. You know, he, he sometimes he scores, sometimes he doesn't. He does so much for us um, at both ends, you know, defensively, obviously, and then offensively he handles the ball quite a bit and great screen setter. And 
Um, I think the thing with Draymond is, um, you know, he's, uh, he's just now, I think, getting into uh, the condition he needs to be in. He played 31 minutes tonight. Uh, I thought his conditioning looked better than it has. And as the, uh, as the conditioning comes, he'll have his legs underneath him. He'll start to get more aggressive offensively. Uh, hi, Steve. Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. Um, now the game's over. Can you talk about how today uh, impacted you as a coach and your team before the game, maybe, maybe even the start and now after the game with what happened today in this country? Yeah, I, I mean, it was um, so disheartening. I think everybody came into the uh, arena this evening um, just sort of dazed. You know, there was so much going on. Um, the great news, um, you know, this morning uh, out of out of Georgia, um, you know, for for those of us who feel like change is needed in this country, uh, those two victories in the Senate races were were amazing news. And then all of a sudden to see the Capitol stormed um, without repercussion um, uh, at the same time as the officers in the Jacob Blake shooting uh, were not charged. Um, it is, it's such a, a blatant uh, contrast in how people are treated in this country based on the color of their skin. Um, you know, thousands of white people can storm the Capitol and not, not face any sort of uh, obstruction from police. Um, but heaven forbid a 12 year old black boy carry a toy gun in a park or a 15 year old black boy walk home from a store with a bag of Skittles. Um, or a young black male run through the neighborhood on a jog. Um, heaven forbid any of those, those things happen, um, but it's okay for thousands of uh, traders basically uh, storming the, the Capitol and, uh, and we're, not gonna, we're not gonna put up uh, any resistance. We're just gonna allow it. So a blatant, blatant display of the inequity uh, in our country. And I think given that the vast majority of players in our league are African-American, um, it can only affect uh, every single one of them deeply. It affects all of us deeply, but especially if you're an African-American and you've had to deal with this type of injustice in your, in your entire life and in your family's lives. So today was a very emotional day and uh, our players felt it, but I was really proud of um, the way they handle themselves, um, you know, making their 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 presence felt, and then coming out and competing and and playing a playing a basketball game. It's not an easy day. Coach Kylan with Cron Four. You mentioned before the game you hadn't really talked to any of the players about possible demonstrations or anything like that. Were there any conversations in the locker room just about kind of how everyone's doing and you know where where the team is at? Yeah, we uh, we had discussions in the locker room. Um, before the game, I also spoke with with Ty Lue. Um, You know, we we checked with each other to see you know what what the teams had planned, if anything. And uh, as you saw, both teams ended up kneeling during the anthem um, as a sign of of uh, our concern for uh, racial injustice. Um, and I think there was an an added message today, given um, given the. Uh, the scene in the, at the Capitol in, uh, in Washington, D.C., just uh, shocking scenes and affected everybody uh, pretty, pretty seriously. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.